Hello, welcome, thanks for joining us today. And what we're going to go through today are the very first of a series of spinal tracks. And so today we're going to start off with the dorsal column. So, what is the dorsal column? The dorsal column is a ascending spinal tract, and it refers to this particular region of a spinal cord. So you've got the spinal cord over here, You've got these gray matter, this is the gray matter, and this is the white matter, and the dorsal column is this. So it's a column of the spinal cord that's on the back, dorsal column. And so the first thing to know is what does it contain? What kind of um, information? It's an ascending fiber, right? So it's an ascending tract, goes up into the brain, and so it's bringing a sensory information, but the question is what type of sensory information is it bringing? So, First, proprioception. Proprioception. What does that mean? So proprioception is, from my understanding, is just the awareness of the body. So sending information to the brain to tell the tell the brain where your hands are sticking out, what is it doing, in what position is it in. Um, so proprioception, and you've got sensing organs within these um, within the muscles to tell you tell you that information. Then the second one is tactile sensation or fine touch. And the third is vibration. Vibration, fine touch, and proprioception. Now, the second thing to know is that with ascending fibers, they all have three neurons. So you've got, they all go in, there's basically two relay stations or three neuron segments. So you've got a primary neuron um, that goes up and then synapses with a secondary neuron so that's a secondary neuron which then synapses again and the third tertiary neuron finishes the job and that usually reaches the brain by then or the target destination. So you've got primary, secondary, and tertiary, and it's very important with, uh, from my understanding of what people seem to want to teach us, is that with when you're learning these spinal tracts, you need to know where these neurons come in, and where they synapse, and at what point do they cross the midline of the brain. If they ascend on the same side, that is called ipsilateral, so let's say in this one I drew, was the primary neuron ascended ipsilaterally, then it decussated, decussate, meaning crossed over, at the secondary neuron at whatever level this was, and then ascended on in a contralateral direction. At the tertiary neuron synapsed with the secondary neuron and ascended once again ipsilaterally to its final destination. So that's these are the terminologies that you kind of need to know what they mean. Decussate, ipsilateral, contralateral. And so keep in mind there's primary neurons, secondary neurons, and tertiary neurons. Okay, so with that in mind let's tackle the dorsal column. So what do we have here? I've drew, drawn a diagram of the cranial hemispheres so this is up in the brain. Then you've got the midbrain over here, the pons, the medulla. This is the cervical um, spine, spinal cord. And this is the lumbar spinal cord. And I guess we can do a video on how do you recognize the characteristics of these. But okay, anyways, besides the point. So You've got a primary neuron that comes into the spinal cord. In the lower limb, this is that primary neuron. And in the upper limb, this is the primary neuron coming in. So it comes in through the dorsal, dorsal horn over here and goes to the uh, dorsal column. Notice that the cell body is located outside. And now what happens is that they start to ascend. So they don't synapse really, they just keep on going. So going and going. And 
what you can notice, and this is an important attention to detail that you need to appreciate, is that these columns, the lumbar columns or the, of the lower limb, these informations ascend in the dorsal column and go up through here. And this tract is called the fasciculus gracilis. Fasciculus gracilis. Gracilis. And then what happens in the upper limb at one point is you've got these upper limb fibers that come in and they kind of jim in into the side. So they squeeze, uh, they, they join in and they squeeze the lower limb fibers to the side over here. So maybe if I draw it to be a bit more clear, is you see these tracks are these tracks over here, whereas these ascending, ascending upper limb fibers, they add themselves in into this part. And so this particular region of the upper limb information is called the fasciculus cuneatus. Fasciculus gracilis, fasciculus cuneatus. And so, continuing on, so the fasciculus gracilis, or the from the lower limb, they continue up into the medulla and synapse here, whereas the fasciculus cuneatus come up to the medulla and synapse here. And this is a very important part in the uh, medulla oblongata, where they what they synapse at is at these two nuclei. And they're really easy to remember if you know what these names are called. This one over here is called, so this one over here, this one's called the, uh, sorry, the nucleus, nucleus, gracilis, so the fa uh, fasciculus gracilis synapses at the nucleus gracilis, whereas the, um, the fasciculus cuneatus, surprise, surprise, synapses at the nucleus cuneatus. Okay, so with that in mind, you've now got these two nuclei, and they're going to continue ascending. So now this, these are the secondary neurons. Okay, so once they've synapsed at the nucleus gracilis and the nucleus cuneatus, these secondary neurons over here are going to start crossing. They cross at this structure, of, they ascend at this structure over here called the medial lemniscus, and they cross as these fibers called internal articulate fibers. So, uh, attention to detail, the lower limb is more ventrally, and the upper limb is dorsally. Okay, and they ascend. Bam! Ascend, and over here. And so notice, once they reach the pons, the upper limb is more medially, and the lower limb is more laterally. I'm just being really, um, uh, I'm just being a bit OCD at the moment and just trying to stick, uh, trying to give in as much detail as I can into these diagrams. So you see, so all of these structures over here, all of this region, so this, this tract, and this tract, all of this is called the medial lemniscus. And so the thing you just need to remember is that they ascend, the secondary neurons ascend through the medial lemniscus. And then they get to the cranial hemispheres and they find a synapse here in the thalamus. And where about specifically in the thalamus? That would be called the ventral posterior nucleus. Lower limb synapses into its tertiary neuron and goes bam over here like that. And in the upper limb, over here like that. So this is upper and this is lower limb. Whereabouts in this cortex is this? So this would be the somatosensory cortex because it is bringing sensory information. So cool. And that's the dorsal column. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future columns.